for today, we have a tough matchup against the Cleveland Browns, who on paper look pretty good. We have some players that are ready to negotiate with their contracts. I may not be ready on some of them. Regional focus scouting, we dive into the draft class a little bit and look to uh, focus on some early positions that we may need in this upcoming draft and we could pretty much use a little bit of anything right now i think it would help we'll go through weekly strategy set our game plan for the cleveland browns this week upgrade a few players and maybe go through the talent tree and start messing with some of that let's get right into it first things first let's hop into the players ready to negotiate let's see who's ready to go to a new contract and advance with the team derrick henry being one i believe tier tart is on his one-year deal i'd like to have a young 26 year old interior uh player like tier tart back but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna negotiate with him too quick uh we don't really know the type of player he is and he can be quite hefty with money somewhere you know between seven and maybe even nine million a year so oh wait no it says right there seven million over two years so that's what he wants and then sean murphy bunting once again one of these players that's just on a one-year deal kind of on a prove it slash trial basis looking to get their payday he's not going to be too expensive if he plays well by mid-season he might see an extension aziz al shire though this gets a little complicated because i like the player for sure i love what he brings to the table and he has full interest and i don't know i liked what he's become so far already up to star development so before he escalates this price i think we can try to negotiate while he's still fairly cheap negotiating for three million salary we give him four million in his bonus christian fulton same thing love what i've seen out of him this early christian fulton normal development you know maybe a shorter term deal four mil a year on average i think that this just overall i'll return come back with a better salary so that's the beginning of that negotiation that's fine akina maybe aaron brewer by the end of the year we'll see julius chestnut i might put at returner at some point even though reggie robertson is doing a great job on his return duties and we have guys like Danico Autry, ryan Tannehill down the board ty hilton who we signed earlier in free agency and we get to accept the option on first round pick caleb farley tragic what happened to him in real life and his family and his house i feel so so bad that's such an unfortunate uncommon like situation it's crazy you guys want to go look it up go do uh really weird story so we get to pick uh focus players for the west central northeast and southeast so starting with the west set focus scouting probably want to do like probably safety we're gonna need safety it's a strength but i don't have it scouted so we will go ahead and just do strong safety here and then right here, this gets a little interesting because we got the tackles. We got left and defensive tackle getting scouted right now along with right tackle. Set focus scouting, D-end and outside linebacker. Feels like a waste to do outside linebacker because there could be like one just good guy. So do I need to scout other? Like I can't think of anything else. We'll go defensive end. Uh, even though it is a weakness at left end, so maybe right end's good. Maybe right outside linebacker would be, you know, something to look into here. And then for this, we'll just go with corner um, or wide receiver, actually. We do not need corner. We could get the 5% or whatever it is for wide receiver. And then set focus scouting for the southeast right tackle. Left tackle seems to be something of interest here maybe we can go like interior or defensive end doesn't seem to be a strength but it also isn't a weakness so we already got a dn one let's go with d tackles and see if we can just find anybody that we want to want to scout there and then we'll have to wait till mid-season to do set focus scouting for the overall national uh scouts so that'll be good we'll uh catch up then on scouting won't really check in on the draft class too often Let's uh, see what players are ready to be upgraded at this point. It's Aziz Al Shayer who jumped a dev trait last week. Aziz Al Shayer who doesn't really need to go up and uh, he needs block shedding. That's what he needs. I, I don't even care. I can just go over there and look for block shedding. Where does block shedding come from? Is it run stopper? It feels like a run stopper thing, but it's uh, power pursuit tackle. What is pow? P-O-W, I mean, like, the only thing I can think of is power, but here's Pursuit. 
Um, we'll go run stopper and see if we can get some sort of block shedding. Because, yeah, so block shedding plus one. Plus one man coverage, too, is pretty good. 75 block shedding. We need that to be higher. And we are ready for this matchup here. It'll be the Tennessee Titans versus the Browns. And I have turned my uh, graphics down just a wee bit there to to help the game out because even though i have a pretty good computer all right it's it's okay but it just doesn't seem to want to run madden especially loading into games skipping through there's our uh good old Pooh bear i don't know why i named the head coach that but good old Pooh bear is going to be under center like this it's not frozen it just takes a second it's it's stupid oh reggie robertson he cooks loose reggie robertson up the sideline Towards the end zone, we'll open this one with a punt return touchdown. And this is what I'm talking about. I don't like that stuttering. It's so stupid. And Deshaun Watson on the season so far has not been great. He might need a little bit of a massage to work back into midseason form so he can uh, help his team win. But so far, we have to watch Nick Chubb. That's what I've observed. We've just started the game, but that's something we've got to do is uh, our defender just got bitched by Nick Chubb. He uh, he did a good job there. Oh, yes, be injured. Let's go. We're going to see a lot of Jerome Ford now, if I had to guess. Oh, maybe? I don't know what's going on with him. He's just whimpering around like, hello? And Arden Key is back in that spot. I cannot have that. And we'll have to keep up with this team here. And that's Arden Key's fault. Like I said, we cannot have him in coverage that jordan aikens taking the reception 20 yards thanks to no other than arden key so i put uh chance campbell in his way hopefully to slow him down and this one will just be i thought it was gonna be thrown away but no sean watson finds number 85 is that austin okay david njoku for some reason i was thinking austin watkins the uh the breakout preseason receiver but now we are going to have to guard Nick Chubb, who lines up right in front of Aziz Alshair on the end of the line for a pick. And Aziz Alshair, a little bit of an overcommit. Caleb Farley wraps up quite nicely. And Amari Cooper makes a good catch and run up the field. Deshaun Watson, 4-4, four, four, 50 yards. It's going to take me a while to get used to... Uh, to get used to all this this is all very not new to me but next gen is just very different all right it's very unorthodox and can we get back i don't know why it keeps putting me on a guys further away than like kevin byer in that spot would probably who i'd expect to be on but didn't quite get there uh monty rice will be going there i'll use aziz al shire and try to plug up the line we should have seen we should have gone right through there should have but didn't end up happening shelvin goes down and despite already having a touchdown, Ryan Tannehill will see the field with the Titans for the first time. 25 of 56, 304 yards, two touchdowns, two INTs. Not the ideal start to a season that you look for out of your starting veteran quarterback. We'll go curls here. Curls concept. Ty Jays in to start the game. We'll have uh, a good target in Ty Jay Spears, who's going to get it. This one might be brought back with a holding call. It is going to be the rookie right tackle, Jalen Duncan, playing in place for Nicholas Petit Freyer, who uh, has been suspended for, I believe, gambling. So a little unfortunate. Really got nobody. We're going to have to throw this one away. I was hoping Chigakonkwa coming across the field would beat his man, but uh, he had a linebacker draped all over him. Saw that one coming from a mile away. I hate that, dude. I hate it. I can't do anything to get rid of it, too, which is even worse. This one is up for grabs for Chickaconquo over, I believe, Martin Emerson. And Tannehill's noodle arm I keep raving about. This guy has such the noodle arm. Uh, it's hard to explain, but Ryan Tannehill might just be one of the worst QBs in the league. Gonna just step back. When you have Miles Garrett in your face and you are looking at a potential safety, it's never fun, so I'm just going to throw it away and escape death. Deshaun Watson takes the field with the rest of the gang. Nick Chubb goes nowhere. Glad to see he only gains a yard there after his touchdown on the first drive. Three carries, seven yards. I think we're holding him to a minimum so far, which is good to see, but don't want to jinx ourselves. Let's still play the middle here. And, yeah, this is what I'm talking about with the... Uh, 
well, two things. One with next gen and not getting used to it. I'm not used to spamming X uh, every time I'm gonna get engaged in a would-be tackle situation. And also, not used to, I don't know. Aziz Alshire in the backfield. That is a TFL. They might go for the field goal here. Derek Henry into the game. He'll take the first, uh, the first down carry. Last week at 20 rushes, only 94 yards on the ground. First game, he had even less than that on, I think, 18 or 16 carries. So, so far, hasn't been the standout player that we have hoped he would uh, be or become at this point in time. So, Derrick Henry. And he goes down so easily. Like, I don't understand it. He might be hurt here. Like, I don't understand that animation either. So, we'll see this. Uh, I'm going to put DeAndre Hopkins down the field i'm gonna i'm gonna make sure he runs pretty straight let's uh let's thread the needle with ty hilton up the field what a pass completion from ryan dano will keep this going and we'll do a little rpo peak zone bubble and wow okay uh i guess we'll take it with ryan dano uh, i tried to press triangle didn't go through and then i tried to press x it was already too late and so i sprinted forward with ryan dano for a gain of three yards Derek Henry back in the backfield will look to utilize his strengths. Is that Radon's getting out in front of him? It's not. It's Peter Skaronski, who's done a good job so far of blocking, in my opinion. Third and three. It's Derek Henry's turn. Go up the gut, big dog. I think that might have been Dalvin Tomlinson to get there. We will go fast here and uh, we'll run left. Derek Henry towards Miles Garrett, and there's Peter Skaronski getting a good block. Derek Henry right now first down on the fourth down i think that makes us 100 percent for fourth down on the season we'll look deep here trevon wesco will be out as kind of like a dump off if we need it uh we might have an opportunity let's go chigaconquo stay in the why why he literally intentionally took a step out of bounds for that that is so f like beyond stupid this is a touchdown right here let's go to chigaconquo Follow him on the, this play. Wide open. All right, so we've got a lower zone here. Greg Newsom, Fives playing uh, a middle spot. T.Y. Hilton's taking the safety. You have Chigakonkwa, who gets the ball thrown to him. I stop. I stop manually. Wait for it. I'm going to catch the ball and take a step I don't have to out of bounds for fun. It's bullshit, man. And that's what it is. It's bullshit. Everyone knows it. It's Madden, so you have to expect it. Run towards Peter Skaronski and number 71 with Trevon Wesco as a lead blocker out there doing God's work. Good job getting up field, at least putting a momentary delay on that. We'll go Ty J Spears underneath, just catch and go down, big dog. And Ryan Tannehill starts this one to a 6.33. Kind of the opposite of, you know, what you want to see, which is consistency. It's been quite inconsistent. We're going to run at Miles Garrett again. He's kind of been a non-factor against the run. As he's been really good in the past and should have ran left a little bit more because we have one of the worst offensive lines in football right now and it won't get much better as the season goes on as nicholas petit frayer is only a couple overalls better than his uh so far or would be replacement we'll go kyle phillips underneath make this a little bit more third and manageable and right here i want to just shove it up the middle with derrick henry might sound wrong, sure. Derrick Henry is made for these moments. Let's go ahead, give it to Derrick Henry, who's, ooh, had a good run there. Eight rushes, 33 yards, far off, five per carry, but uh, we'll take it. It's been a slow, methodical drive so far. Let's go, Tajay. And number one will bring him down. I was hoping to make a man miss there, maybe. Tajay Spears, our third round pick here. Josh Wiley, Jalen Duncan, who will get the start today. And we'll have a few more guys in play. I want to run right here. I'm going to flip the play because this defense just isn't really... Okay, well, I made it even more set up for him. So, let's just grab Derrick Henry. Don't follow our blockers at all. It wasn't ever going to result in a good, good result. And uh, get stopped on the play. 29-year-old is struggling to get up right now. We'll go Z-spot. New Hopkins, like, I can put on a fade. He can't hear me, apparently. Like, that's just the thing. So... This one's up. Let's go. Hilton on the inside. Touchdown. T.Y. Hilton in a Titans uniform. Momentarily missing Traylon Burks. But T.Y. Hilton maybe having an epileptic seizure on the floor right there. And Nick Chubb on the season so far through two games. 41 rushes, 202 yards, and four touchdowns. Totaling one more than his own quarterback. So 
Uh, I don't know if that's an addition to one he has today, but if it is, good for him. I want to get outside. It's so, so annoying. Aziz Alshire has literally zero block shedding. You can't get off a block for his life. It's uh, quite frustrating, if you will. Just trying to, uh, like the second you get engaged in a block, especially from an offensive lineman, there's no getting out of it. And this one is just going to be picked off by Monty Rice. So, um, brain dead play from Deshaun Watson. It. Watson throwing it straight into our linebacker. DeAndre Hopkins underneath on first down. We switch it up and go with a little bit of a pass play. D-Hop is up and ready to go. And we'll go HB zone toss. I haven't done a toss yet in, uh, in Madden 24. So we'll go ahead and flip it out on a little bit of a toss. Derrick Henry, we need a fast running back, and that would have worked. Ty J Spears, if he was in, he's not the fastest, but he's got good acceleration. Maybe he could have uh, done a, a tad bit more than Derrick Henry in that situation. But overall, still a good first down. We'll give it to Derrick Henry, who's going to work his way up the middle of the field. Another four or six yards on the carry. Derrick Henry has been put to work all day today as he will get up another 10 yards. Derrick Henry, 12 rushes, 53 so far has been the workhorse back. And this is kind of what I've been wanting to do all season long, but we're just putting our focus into it. We're committing to it. Peter Skronsky with a great block. It'll be a walk-in touchdown from Derrick Henry and Anthony Walker. A little bonus, a little salt with the pepper. Anthony Walker will be down with an injury. Batman's last drive cost the Browns quite a bit as they were... Uh, very careless with the ball, and Derrick Henry was able to finish off the drive after a turnover, an interception from Deshaun Watson. Not what you want to see. I'm going to go ahead and pinch the line a little bit. I'm going to play a little lower with our linebackers just in case. And Aziz Alshire, I just backed off of that one to follow Donovan Peoples Jones, uh, thinking Deshaun Watson wouldn't be stupid enough to target Elijah Moore in that situation. And I was wrong, so a little unfortunate. Uh, Rash or not Rasheed, uh, Monty Rice up the middle of it. Just a good touch pass, a little bit of a, well, a little bit. I'll, I'll give him some credit there. That was a good pass. Donovan Peoples-Jones, DPJ, one of my favorite players in the league last year for fantasy purposes. Uh, we're going to have to watch Nick Chubb with Aziz Alshire. And Elijah Moore had Christian Fulton lost and dropped the ball. Fulton was long gone, and he's like, I did everything. He's pointing up at the sky, uh, taking credit for... Uh, the faulty gloves that whatever's wearing Aziz Alshire gets after Deshaun Watson. And we'll push Nick Chubb out of bounds, making it third and manageable. Good job under pressure from Deshaun Watson to get that one out. We'll see Rasheed Rice. Or not, why do I keep going? I got to stop that. Monty Rice over here on the right side. It's a little bit of a screen. Go underneath it. Monty Hooker can't. We're going to try to take down. Uh, Nick Chubb. It's a good screen. Uh, like It was just designed well and good good time to call it. Deshaun Watson will be going for it and wow, he is fast by the way. Um, yeah, he should not have gotten 30 yards on that one, but Deshaun Watson do your thing, I guess. Uh, we'll go Tampa 2. Try to uh, solve world hunger here as uh, they look like they are steaming down this field right now. I'm going to go Z's Al Shire to try to run away from this one come up and make a play number 31 kevin byard couldn't quite catch up to jordan akins and by then was already a little too far back good placement throw or good ball placement on the throw by deshaun watson we'll get the ball back with the chance to respond before halftime so far today the star of the show has been derrick henry with his 13 carries and his touchdown on the day we have a touchdown with T.Y. Hilton, and then of course that punt return with um, the punt return with Reggie Robertson, who, in my opinion, has been a huge highlight for this team. I know you guys don't see too many of the returns, uh, the kick returns and stuff, so feels bad, but we'll make the safety bite. We have D Hop on a go route. If number one can't make it there, it is D Hop down the field makes Martin Emerson miss. This is a quick strike touchdown. Ryan Tannehill with the perfect place. Deep ball over DeAndre Hopkins' shoulder on a great play. D-Hop on the go route. Just beats Martin Emerson on his release. Number one couldn't quite catch him. D-Hop showing and displaying a little bit of speed for the old man. Martin Emerson's going to dive. He's going to turn. And Ryan Tannehill slapping that ass. We haven't really been known as a big play offense so far this season. But it is nice to get credited with a big play there. 
and underneath Njoku. We're going to try to keep him in bounds here. We're going to try to wind down the clock. We're not going to look for the ball back or anything. We want to make sure that these guys can run the clock out, take their drive methodically, and maybe come out with three points at best. We do not want to allow a touchdown here. It'll only pick up momentum. And this one coming up, Amari Cooper breaks the tackle from Kevin Byard. Had three guys around him, just none on him. And like I said, uh, we just don't want them to score. Uh, could have been a good opportunity there. Conservative tackling. Uh, the CPU doing whatever he can. Or the CPU doing whatever it can to get Amari Cooper out of bounds, I guess. Um, nothing we can really do there. Two-minute warning hits. And uh, something to remember is Cleveland Browns receive the kick after the uh, halftime. So after half. We'll play Roger McCreary in a little bit of a uh, slot rule. Uh, try to keep this side all locked down. It's another drop from Elijah Moore. That's a little interesting. Um, perhaps someone you don't want on your team, Matt. <laughs> Elijah Moore seems to have a little bit of an issue holding on to the ball. I'll use her Aziz Al Shire, who will return to there. Just keep him in bounds. Nope. Okay. Nope. He'll just do whatever. Like I said, uh, computer does whatever it can to keep uh, the the computer in bounds. Big third down and 11 now. We cannot let anything up, and we let that up, of course. Of course, of course, of course. They might take a quick course of action and hurry this one up. They won't. They'll take their sweet time. We need to make sure to maybe play a little bit more man. We're going to try to just play a little bit less uh, colluded or, or uh, you know, spots. Uh, not colluded, but uh, there's something for it. I was thinking of clouded or crowded spaces. Like a, okay, nope. David Njoku gets right out of bounds. I was gonna try to take him down inbounds. Couldn't, couldn't quite get there. But yeah, I was thinking of crowded spaces. Uh, playing man might open up a few uh, can of worms that we don't want to, we don't want to explore right now. Of course, it's very tough. Play David Njoku and Monty Rice had a chance to come up and make a huge play. Couldn't quite get there. Timeout Browns. First and goal. We need to hold them from getting uh, seven at this spot using Monty Rice across the goal line, just making sure no one gets there. Monty Rice back up. And oh my lord, down on the one. They had quite the train going with Nick Chubb. Uh, we're going to spread the line open. Hopefully that will make a little gap in the line. And we're committing to the pat. Wait. Whoa, that was a, a trippy play. Elijah Moore doesn't drop this one. Finds himself in the end zone. Perhaps we can have a magical run back with Reggie Robertson. We can't. Saw a little bit of daylight. Got plugged up pretty quick. Today, oh, so far on the season, DeAndre Hopkins. Eight receptions, 212 yards, and three touchdowns. He's done what he needs to do. He's done a great job and uh, just works this offense and works in this offense pretty well. And uh, I see Chiga Conquo with a little bit of space there martin emerson just too tall i like martin emerson in real life uh watch for his second year now he might have a good breakout season see ty j and hopkins on the left side kyle phillips really isn't the out route type of guy and we'll have to roll out here just throw it away not looking to you know i don't want to give the cleveland browns anything to work with so we'll go iso and uh run up the gut with derrick henry Perhaps he does good. Perhaps he gets the first down. We just take it to the half. And the Browns will have seven seconds on the clock. No timeouts. Maybe one run play to Mr. Chubb. Who, wow. Oh, my God. Someone just got, I think, absolutely decapitated by Wyatt Teller. We won't be able to see that one back. But let's check with the half time report and the rest of the teams around the league. In Minnesota. Los Angeles Chargers, who we faced last week. I think last week, or it could have been two weeks ago. Justin Herbert carving him up. And Leonard Fournette as a Viking is a little interesting. With six attempts, no yards, apparently. In Jacksonville, Houston goes to visit a uh, in-division opponent here. Travis Etienne seems to be the highlight of the day for that matchup. CJ Stroud in one half only has two pass attempts. A little interesting. Texans start the season 0-2. Jaguars 1-1, one one, as we know. And like I said, interdivision. Uh, match up there and we happen to be a part of that division after a very high scoring first half this uh cleveland browns will take the uh will take the go and deshaun watson just i want to rock deshaun watson i want to want to rock his world don't don't talk to number 20 i think it's roger mccreary like that that is kind of rude man don't do that 
Aziz Al Shire playing the middle of the field. Watch the run right here. They are definitely looking very run heavy at the spot. And good job by Aziz Al Shire getting around to Nick Chubb, who has eight rushes, 42 yards, and a tutty on the day. Looks pretty similar to our uh, running back, Derek Henry. Aziz Al Shire monitoring the middle of the field. We'll play a little bit of some man coverage here. And Campbell, who's done a pretty good job, all things considered, coming in not that highly rated. Uh, but a little bit faster, a little bit of that athlete upside seems to be showing. He's uh, covering the flats pretty well when he's getting the opportunity to do so. We're going to have to follow Nick Chubb out of the backfield here as Aziz Al Shire. And Donovan Peoples Jones makes a nice catch in traffic. Roger McCreary gets beat off the line, and Donovan Peoples Jones uses his length and speed to beat him. So can't really blame McCreary on that all the way. We're going to go try to cover Njoku right away. Couldn't do that. And this one, a little thrown underneath, a little low. Monty Rice does a good job of breaking that one up. Third and 10 coming up. Look for a quick strike here, either to Njoku, maybe Chubb. This could be a screen. We saw this play earlier. It is not the screen. And is that Elijah Moore just wide open? That's a bummer. I'm curious who was supposed to be covering. Uh, that's, that's a bummer. Hate to let that one up. It was third and long and couldn't quite get there, like I mentioned. We'll use Chance Campbell now, who will be manned up on Nick Chubb. Nick Aroni Chubb and Monty Rice underneath. Let's David and Joku by. Not known as the best cover linebacker. This might be free money here for. Oh, never mind. Denigo Autry does a good job sniffing the run out here and tackles Nick Chubb far, far behind the line. As we'll rush only four and try to contain the rest of the field. This still could be a run. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sacrifice pressure for a little bit of a, a line here. As we will see Njoku in the flat. And then they gave me Christian Fulton for some reason. Even though Chance Campbell was draped all over the back of him. Fulton was uh, taken out of position by me, myself, and I. And uh, that'll suck. And Derrick Henry will start our drive. Okay, what a trap play, by the way. Can someone come over and take the guy? Jeremusu Koromoa uh, wrapping up there, but it's not a good play by the defense. It's a horrible play by the offensive line who completely lets their assignments down. Go out here. Go for Tajay underneath. Drops it. Uh, Ryan Tannehill had a good first half. We kept him throwing when he needs to throw. This time, couldn't quite convert. I'm going to put DeAndre Hopkins on a slant, putting Chica Conquo up, and Jeremiah Uwusukoromo will have to face a decision. Definitely OPI there. A little bit of a pick from, I believe it was Chica Conquo to keep uh, Koromo away. Possibly could have been intercepted. I was just throwing with some anticipation there, and it could have been some pretty bad anticipation if uh, you had to ask me. We'll go Wiley underneath. He'll have a few yards, just three. It's okay. I'm fine with three yards here. It's like a, a Derrick Henry meh run. We'll uh, use Derrick Henry, speaking of. And hopefully Peter Scrons can get upfield, get a little chip, get upfield, bud. Does, but not before number 90 comes flying off of whoever the hell is blocking him. Uh, they don't do a very good job. Third and six, we will have, yep, Kyle Phillips, hopefully in the middle of the field. Drops it. Uh, some would say that's good coverage and disruption there from, I believe, Grant Delpit. But it's honestly a drop from Kyle Phillips. I'll look at it that way. And uh, unfortunate. After a good return from who I believe was, oh my god. Nick Chubb absolutely just murdered Monty with a boom. He got boom right now. And that's not good. You never want to see anyone get boom. It's never a good sign. Monty Rice. Gonna have to step up his play. He'll be manned up against Nick Chubb, perhaps for some uh, revenge, as no. Instead, it'll be Nick Chubb just running wildly loose. Campbell coming up from behind, penetrating in the back of Nick Chubb. Second half has been the Nick Chubb show, which is not what you want to see. He has X-Factor lit, ladies and gentlemen. It'll take three people at a time to get him down. Are they gonna mark that as a TFL? Because that might just get rid of Nick Chubb's... Nope, okay. He's still chubbed up, all right? We're, we're, we're still scared for our damn lives. And we will not rush the uh, linebacker, but you know what we will do? We will decapitate, or at least attempt to, for Deshaun Watson as he's Alshire steps up and tries to get that one. Uh, I don't, I mean, I like the man coverage. I like the way it looked, and especially with Aziz Alshire uh, 
No pressure. What the f- Give me a good user, please! When I switch on, give me someone in position! Not someone that's already behind that I'm gonna take off the play. It's not a good play by me. I'm aware. This is my fault. I don't care. Give me a good user. Don't put me in, like, the most, like, surrounded area. It's so crowded, it's hard to, like, know who you're actually gonna be on as he's Al Shair trying to make it out to cover Nick Chubb. This is bullshit, man. It's a draw as he's Al Shair gonna try to get there. Can't. And it's okay. Uh, Nick Chubb will still be stopped, but not before he gets to go make it first and goal. This one outside. Kevin Byer does his best. Absolutely gets bitched, and boom. It'll be a Nick Chubb touchdown. Uh, no question, this team is rolling right now. DeAndre Hopkins on the day. Three receptions, 104 yards, and a touchdown. He's been a big play machine. And we're going to have to keep it that way. He's going to have to be good. We're going to have to work our way back into this game, whether it's run or pass. We go Chickaconquo underneath. And he's done a good job. Uh, Ryan Tannehill has done a good job of keeping the plays under control, letting his noodle arm not really take over. He's making calculated passes underneath and over the top. So... So far, a good display of what's been uh, showcased today. Skaronski, get up field. Can't do much. We'll go hurry up. No, we won't. It's going to be the end of the quarter. Third and inches. Derrick Henry takes the carry and takes the yards. 18 rushes, only 68 yards on the day. Not the average yards per carry you want from your 97, 96 overall running back we want a little bit more production out of him i'm gonna put hilton underneath a little bit more instead of having him run down the field like he was can we get you still going please like jesus christ Tannehill up the sideline miles garrett gets hurt let's go big highlight of the day for us miles garrett looks like he will be um done for a moment i'm sure madden will have him in before no time to still wreak havoc on the day go play action we're in a good spot to take a shot and that's what we'll do. This one's going to be up for T.Y. Hilton. And Zadarius Smith. We get both of the edge rushers. We are killing kneecaps right now, and I love it. Still got to worry, worry about the interior defensive line. Derrick Henry does a good job just to get the, uh, just to get that right there. We'll go play action and look for new Hopkins, perhaps, down the field. And though that almost looked like more pressure than... Oh, look at Chickaconquo breaking a tackle. Gonna try to juke back inside. Martin Emerson was not biting. Ryan Tannehill, so far today, has looked like a, a good quarterback. Saw how Will Levis played last episode when he went out and was worried for a second. Stepped his game up, helped out a little bit. Let's go cross body, and it'll be, again, Chig Aconquo and a great throw from Ryan Tannehill. Fake jet sweep action up to Derrick Henry in the middle of the field. Gets three yards at best he sucks i'm not gonna lie the 29 year old is not giving us the spark plug we need at the moment it's not working out for him might give uh, deandre hopkins a little bit of a a jump ball but won't happen you know what we will do instead we'll target ty again on a crosser just overthrown nothing we can really do there uh we'll use red zone scissors and try to uh you know work work with it i guess uh it's tough let's go ty j perhaps maybe dpi there perhaps maybe a little bit you think maybe fourth and six they want us to go for it i'm gonna agree with the call we have good numbers uh looks like miles garrett is back in can we get ty held underneath in a nice window we can I'm gonna try to juke up the field can't quite get there but big thing is we converted on fourth down and that's all you can really ask for. Ty J Spears now. We are definitely not going to give that one to T.Y. Hilton. I do not want to think about T.Y. Hilton on a screen. Ty J Spears with his first carry on the day. And we'll go Z spot. Chickaconquo has a chance to get open. If not, Derrick Henry will be our go-to uh, underneath. And we'll go Derrick Henry. Step up into that catch, big boss. He will. Let's get hurry up. Let's go. Let's get some numbers here. Slip screen. I like the idea of it. I do. I just like the idea of a Chickaconquo on the island touchdown better. Chickaconquo touchdown ties the game up. Well, hopefully after the PAT, I'm sure we'll get it. We have to worry about Nick Chubb still, which is a bit of a scare, especially with the clock timer as is. Let's crack him, boys. Get him. He's running off the leash. It's insane. Nick Chubb is working our defense right now. It's really embarrassing. Um... 
We gotta have like someone manned up on him like all the time. We'll use cover two man. Or no, we won't. We'll use his own play. Try to work uh, work with what we got. Play with a lot of people towards the box in this one. Uh, underneath. And like there. Why the hell are you giving me Aziz Al Shire? And this one, oh goodness, we couldn't quite get back there. Jeffrey Simmons comes up to make the uh, that one. Home team's quarterback is immune to pressure now. That's unfortunate. Oh man, uh, that's that's rough. We're gonna have to try to, like I said, stop Nick Chubb, but also make good work in the pass defense. And so far, that has been a struggle. But Jeffrey Simmons is gonna help out a lot. Two back-to-back -back good plays, a little chase down. Uh, and that'll help us a lot. Nick Chubb out of the zone now. Very happy. I'm going to use this. He's Al Shire still. Try to, to get him manned up there. And we're going to set him back a little bit. And keep him contained. Once again, money rise with a nice tackle. And Aziz Al Shire has to make the play of the game. Couldn't quite get there. Can we rock Deshaun Watson? I'm hitting the hit stick and they're like... I'm going to barely, I'm gonna barely do that to you. Sorry for touching you. I don't know what that animation was. We would have been there to stop that with Aziz Al Shire, but for some reason it had us like bite down. I don't know what was going on there, but let's look at Aziz Al Shire. So, right. Oh, okay. So, we had to dodge Amari Cooper. So, that led us to go all the way down here. Please. And it was, yeah, that was a touchdown for freaking Amari Cooper leaving our. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Guys, 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 guys. We have to. We have to. We have to work with this here. We can't let... There it is. Nick Chubb. Can't... Nope. How is he still... Ugh, how is he still so open? See, now, despite what you think, we're only one score down, and we have no momentum somehow. I don't understand that. Let's go Tajay Spears underneath. we got to methodically drive down this field and score a touchdown. Do we go for the two-pointer if we get there, though? I don't know. Trevon Wesco is... I mean, that's fine. We'll see. Uh, let's go. No! S keep the ball in bounds, Tannehill. He just throws it to the fucking bench. Like, what are you doing? And we'll go Ty J Spears, but apparently Anthony Walker can read minds or a playbook because that's fucking nuts that he just did that, especially on an audible route. Like, that's a hot route. Let it be a hot route. Why do we have... We literally have no... Literally zero momentum. I don't understand that. Let me, let me know. Let's go. Oh, nothing I can do there. Denied. Really? Because if I saw it the way that I like to say it, I'd say it's... A miscommunication will probably cost us the game. We get in the backfield with Aziz Al Shire and we can't make shit. I suck at next gen. That's just what it is. Nick Chubb, I hope you broke your kneecap, tore an ACL, and uh, sprained your shoulder somehow. I just wish it happened. Uh, yeah, Nick Chubb touchdown. Why? No one gives a fuck. No one knows. I don't know. It just, uh, it's just a touch. It's just a touchdown. I don't, I don't know. And we'll take the offense with, or we'll take the field with the offense again. And, I mean, despite critical beliefs, uh, DeAndre Hopkins doesn't care to run the routes that he's given, but it'll work out anyways. So, uh, let's get this one up over top. Let's give, uh, New Hopkins a little go up and get her ball. Couldn't, and that's way too late from number 27 right there to absolutely lay the fucking wood for uh, <laughs> on uh, DeAndre Hopkins. I don't know what the hell that was about, but re retaliation. I'm, I'm scared to know what uh, Mr. DeAndre Hopkins did to that man. And it's going to be a broken sack. Tannehill working up the field. We'll have to call a timeout here. Uh, we'll go play. Yeah, play action here. Let's go play action. What? Why is play action even an option here? Like, for real? Let's, uh, throw it behind. Let's throw it three feet behind Chigakonkwo and not even give him a chance. I want to take the field goal. If I'm being honest, I want to. Are we going to? No, we're not going to. Why is Derrick Henry in? I want freaking Ty J Spears. He's so much better in the passing game, and that is just a fact. Let's go Chigakonkwo underneath. Give him that first down. Chikakonkwo, good play, I guess. Like right here, I'd be doing a Tajay Spears. Uh, I'd be doing a Tajay Spear. Can we throw it downwards? Nope, this one will be picked off. Yep. And uh, so much for a good game from Ryan Tannehill. And this game is finishing up here. 
Uh, it was a Nick Chubb, like, clinic. I don't know. There's no way to really to say this. I mean, Nick Chubb absolutely ate our, like, ate it up. He ate it up. Titans, Derrick Henry sucked ass per, per usual. Uh, maybe maybe we should see an increased role from Ty J Spears. Uh, I'm not really one to save for that right now, but Ryan Tannehill, 19-36, 263 yards, three touchdowns. That interception is really going to tank his uh, his rating today. But Shiga Conquo was good, five catches, 47 yards and a touchdown, but even better was DeAndre Hopkins going for 144 yards and a touchdown. Ty J got involved in the passing game. T.Y. Hilton had a touchdown. Wiley was fine. A drop from Kyle Phillips was a little annoying and after a loss in one of the biggest shootouts probably so far this year if not the biggest shootout this year we find ourselves in a hole one and two is not what you want to see when you first start the season and I know I didn't uh, go through and use any of my skill points but we'll go ahead and ship on over to next week and we'll see if anything is unlocked for next episode a qb1 check-in perhaps it is time to switch up our franchise qb i'm lying uh i don't think that will be happening until we are for sure out of the playoffs and qb1 check-in just someone to there's something to look at maybe evaluate a little bit and then maybe next episode we'll mess with uh some of the franchise talent tree and stuff like that we also have a very tough matchup with the Cincinnati, uh, <laughs> the Bengals, and then we might get our first attempt at a win or at a second win, whatever you want to say. We might have a good chance against the Colts in week five, and then we're right back to tough matchups. But we are still tied for first in our division. Everybody in my division is one and two right now. Not good but also not a bad thing for now. So that'll be it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, consider leaving a like. Also subscribing for a lot more of this. I, can, I intend on doing Tennessee Titans franchise for a while. Um, I don't know if it'll be quite daily like these last three episodes have been, but I mean, consistency is key. Seems to be the only thing really working on the channel right now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, like I said, consider leaving a like, subscribing. Um, come back next time. It'll be fun. Go watch any of my past content. You'll enjoy it, I promise. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later.